Hi, in this video what we are going to do is we are going to create a discrete probability distribution of the following data. The data that we have, the random variable x that we are dealing with is the number of siblings. So of the people that were polled, there was 0 through 5 siblings. And listed below each of those is the frequency that they occurred in the sample that was taken. Remember that the conditions that must be met in order to be considered to be a probability distribution is that all of our individual probabilities have to be between 0 and 1. And if you recall from other information or from previous videos, if you haven't watched them, I will just remind you of those values. Um, the probability of x is found by taking the frequency of that individual value divided by the sum of all of the frequencies. So if you were not using a calculator to help you find this, what you would do is you would take and add this column up. So I would do the 25 plus 86 plus 70 plus 49, etc. Add the entire row. Um, and then we would divide by each, each of the individual frequencies by the sum of all of the frequencies. Because of the fact that this can be very time consuming, especially if you have a large data set, I'm going to show you guys how to use the TI-84 to speed things up. So what we would do is we would go to stat and edit. And if we have any information in L1 and L2, we want to clear that out. Okay, in L1, I am going to put my random variable x, my 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, and then in the other column, I'm going to put my frequency. So in L2, I'm going to put my frequencies, the 25, 86, 70, 49, 12, and 8. And then you always want to check to make sure that all of your values are correct. So they are. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 25, 86, 70, 49, 12, and 8. I know it's kind of hard to see that. Um, so then what we're going to do is we're going to do a third column. And you can do this two ways. You can either find the sum of the frequency list first, or you can divide, um, we can put the command in here to divide by the sum. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight L3, so it says that L3 equals. And what I want to fill this column with is um, the quotient between second, like the L2, so I'm going to hit second number two to get L2, divided by, and to access the sum, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the second button, the stat button, this gets us to the lists, go over to math, and choose option five, the sum, and notice it says L2 divided by sum, and then we have to tell it which list to sum, so we're going to do the sum of L2. All we did here was we just used our um, formula for finding probability. So the formula for finding probability, again, is the frequency divided by the sum of all the frequencies. Our frequencies are in L2, so we just did our frequency divided by the sum of our frequencies. When I hit enter, it automatically populates this in there for me. So I end up with um, 0.1 or 10% of the people that were polled had zero siblings. 0.344. 0 0.28, 0 0.196, 0 0.048, and 0 0.032. So I put in all of my probabilities. In order to guarantee that this is a probability distribution, what we want to do is I'm going to quit out of the screen for a second. And I'm going to go back to my list where we had the sum. Just to show you that if I wanted to find the sum first of the frequencies, um, so I wanted to see what the sum of the frequencies are, I would do the sum of L2. And that tells me that the sum of my frequencies is 250. So there were 250 people that were polled, and these were the results of the poll. So this is the probability distribution or the relative frequency. It's basically the same thing as the relative frequency of this event. So we also want to verify that this is a probability distribution. So to do that, remember that we want to make sure that our sum, and I'm just going to grab the sum since I just typed in that command, and I'm going to change L2 to L1. 
So I'm just hitting second and the number one. And it says, oh, I wanted to do L3. See, we're not paying attention. So um, let me grab that again, and we're going to change this. Instead of L1, I want to find the sum of L3 because L3 is where we put our probabilities. You have to keep in mind where you put your probabilities. I'm so used to working with 1 and 2 that I just defaulted to that. So the sum of L3 is 1. So this does tell us that the sum of all of our probabilities of x does equal 1. So this is a probability distribution because each of my individual probabilities is between 0 and 1. And the sum of all my probabilities is 1. So what we are going to do is we're now going to take this information and create a graph of the probability distribution. The graph for a discrete probability distribution is just a histogram. So we're going to create a histogram of this data. I've already labeled it with 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 down here. So that represents my x. My x always goes on the x-axis, the variable that we're talking about. So in this case, the number of siblings, it differs from person to person. And on the y-axis, we are going to label this with our probabilities. Um, I counted by 5% or 0 0.05. Since my maximum was 0.344, I went up to 35. So what we would do is we would go for 0 siblings was 10%. So I would just draw a bar to represent this, and I would shade it in. For 1 sibling, I would go up to where I feel 34% is. And with this, this is just a rough sketch. It is much better to use some kind of computer software to actually generate these, but if you have to draw out hand calculations, you just do the best that you can. 28% is slightly below the 30%, so I would draw another graph for this. Um, 0.196 is almost 20%. Um, four siblings is approximately almost 5%. And then five siblings was 3%. So if they asked you to describe this distribution, this distribution would be skewed to the right since our tail goes to the right. Um, majority of our information falls between one and three. So one to three siblings is the most frequent to happen. Um, the mode of this would be having one sibling. So you could see clearly that having one sibling is the most common or the most likely to occur. Um, Five siblings is the least likely to occur. So with a discrete probability distribution, just to recap, remember that um, each individual probability has to be between 0 and 1. The sum of the, all the probabilities have to equal 1. And the graph of a probability distribution is just a histogram. As always, thanks for watching.